Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 53rd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to learn to fetch input from uh, users of scripts uh, in Perl. So I've got a script here that's called uh, user underscore input and in this script on line number 3 I have a print statement that's going to display the message uh, enter a number on uh, the output screen and then uh, it's just going to wait for the user to type in the number and uh, whatever input is provided by uh, the user is going to be stored in the variable num and uh, we're going to instruct uh, that through uh, the keyword stdin which is a short form for standard input and you cannot just type in stdi in here you have to place it with between the less than symbol and the greater than symbol because this is a stream and uh, that's how you work with streams in Perl so let's say num is a variable in which you want to store the input so you type num first put the equal to symbol and then within the less than symbol and greater than symbol you type in stdin uh, remember that's the short form for standard input so whatever input would be provided through the standard input which is our keyboard is going to be stored in the variable num and uh, we cannot guarantee that that's going to be a number but you know for the sake of uh, uh, demonstration I'm, I'm just going to put in some numeric value and uh, then when we have that input on line number five we're going to uh, square it and store it in the variable square and then finally on line number six I have a print statement that's going to display the square of uh, the number that has been passed uh, so we're going to first see the number and then we're going to see it square so I'll make sure the file saved when I press F5 I see that uh, I get the message enter a number and let me just type in 7 when I type in 7 and press enter I see that the square of 7 is 49 so <clears throat> that's how you receive input from users and you know you don't necessarily have to receive uh, numeric input you could even uh, receive input in text and uh, uh, you know the the keyword though would remain the same you would still work with the stdin i hope you guys had fun watching this uh, video you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm going to see you in the next tutorial till then take care